But as we recognize that, as we learn that, as we try to own our story, own our experiences, own everything that's unique about us, um, one of the ways that we, we have to learn to do that is recognizing the different layers within ourselves, right? So as much as I don't subscribe to a lot of the uh, boxes that the world tries to place me in, right? For example, being black, being gay, being a woman. There's a number of things. There's a number of boxes that are created for me before I even get into the world, y'all. Before I'm even here, they have boxes waiting for me. Then <coughs> they're waiting to check them off as soon as you're born. However, even though I don't subscribe to them personally, I have to recognize these forces so I know how to navigate them. So I know how to work and counteract the forces that are trying to define me so I can learn how to define myself. Does that make sense? And so intersectionality. Intersectionality is recognizing those layers, those boxes upon boxes upon boxes that are placed on you, okay? So I'm gonna give you some examples. I'm gonna try to do something visual with y'all and then you guys are gonna do it yourself, okay? So if you're, on, if you're on a road, right? If you're in a car, if you're walking and you come across an intersection, what's happening? They're crossing, right? There's one street going this way and there's one street going this way. And right here in the middle is what? The intersection, all right? So intersectionality is when these different streets cross each other, they overlap each other, okay? And when you're talking about intersectionality, when it comes to um, our social identities, we're talking about blackness. We're talking, or we're talking about race, I should say. We're talking about ethnicity. We're talking about uh, ability. We're talking about sexual orientation. These are the different streets, right? All different parts of our journeys, all of these different roads that we're on, okay? And so for me personally, these are some of my intersections. So this road right here, because this is generally the first thing that people see is my race. So this is blackness. And on this road here, sometimes because of, because of discrimination, because of certain biases, um, there are roadblocks that I have, right? So there are roadblocks such as going to put like a big, I don't know, detour here. So just racism within itself. You have a roadblock here of, I'm going to put a pothole, how about that, of segregation. You have another one here of, let me see, crack in the road, of biased education. Because growing up, the only thing that I learned about my blackness was that we were oppressed, is that we were slaves. And I wasn't taught about any of the beautiful things that we did that we have accomplished for many, 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 many millennials. So this is my road of blackness. Then I have another one when I think about my gender identity, right? So there's a wage gap. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this roadblock here, wage gap. There's also, there's also rape culture. That's a, a big thing right there as well. So this pothole is going to symbolize rape culture. Then I have a, there's another road here that we can talk about called class. And so with all of these, my focus is right here, this intersection, where all of these different experiences come together and create this layer all of these layers, this overlap of some of the systematic oppression that I feel, right? Biased education, segregation, um, threatening, being threatened with higher high school dropout rates, living in a food desert, knowing that I had a lower life expectancy, knowing that there was already a wage gap for gender, knowing that, um, knowing that I was gonna have to face racism every single day all of that packed on top of each other. That's what intersectionality is. So what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna kinda leave it up to you, we're gonna focus on one particular road right now within your life, right? We talked about the different intersections, we talked about how they're laid on top of each other, 
But what I want you to do is focus on one road. So one thing that you, or one identity that you know that you, you, um, that you subscribe to, okay? And it can be about race, it can be about gender, it can be about sexual orientation, it can be about ability, it can be about class, it can be about any of those things. And I just want you to take some time to analyze. Think about some of the roadblocks that have come your way and draw them, potholes, whatever, however it is that you want to identify them. And that's going to be used to tell that particular part of your story. Right? To tell that part of your story so that you understand how to advocate based on your story. Does that make sense, y'all? Yeah. So take a quick minute. Um, I'm going to give you guys about five minutes to go ahead and draw this road based on a specific identity that you, subscri you subscribe to.